some reporters asked me about um, you know, what was the expectations coming back here before the Dallas game and I didn't want to be thinking about things while I had another game to uh, to play. This was just uh, the one word that comes uh, to, to mind is just uh, unbelievable. I didn't expect anything like that you know, for myself. Um, shows the first class, uh, shows the type of organization that this is and the appreciation of the organization for you. And uh, I couldn't put it into words. Um, you know, Paul and I was joking before the game, you know, who was going to tear up and drop a tear. And you know, I had lumps in my throat, and I kept it under control. And I tried to focus as much as I could on the game and not take away from it. But man, this is this is over the top. Um, I couldn't put that into words. <clears throat> um, I was telling that Kevin. I was telling everybody. You know, this is the, this is the toughest game I ever had to play. Right. Um, uh, tougher than any championship game, any game seven. Right. Uh, this game was just so hard to really just focus and really concentrate on, on what was at hand. Uh, at the end of the day, we had a game to play, but it was so hard to really focus. I saw so many friends, right. so many people I've known for years. Ugly cornbread Maxwell back there, <laughs> my man, my man, right. man. <laughs> it was just hard to really get into. You know, a routine, you have a routine when you come and you right. get ready for a game and then it just it just never settled in. It just you just thought about the times, the friendships, the relationships. It was just then you get showered with love throughout the whole game. You look up, you see so many Kevin jerseys, my jerseys, so many posters. And it's every every second you're on the bench, every second during the game, people are calling your name. It, it was really tough for me to focus today. Uh, you know, I'm happy we got it over with and I can go back to playing basketball. Right. Kevin, can you just up here? Can you just tell us what you did when you stole the ball and Ron, uh, picked off Rondo's pass there? Well, I knew they was trying to run a pick and roll, and Rondo was trying to get a three. I knew they needed a three at that point. Uh, just played the passing lane. It took me two days to get the layup up. <laughs> I thought I was going to get caught there for a minute, but you know, I uh, uh, got it still. I put the ball in front of me and uh, and got a layup. You know, like Paul said, I'm, I'm glad we came in and got a win. Uh, a lot of distractions, a lot of but it was a good distraction. It just felt good to be showered and, and for the city to uh, show the appreciation. Nonetheless, the organization, man, is you, know, you give yourself. And people always say that players can you can be too loyal. I don't I don't believe that. I, I really believe like a city like Boston is worth it. <clears throat> and, and tonight is just the epitome of all that. Uh, for both of you guys, from the time you arrived here, what was your time here like, just in terms of seeing people? Maybe bumping into people in the street, that's sort of it. <laughs> uh, we didn't really bump into anybody in the streets, but we had a chance to go have dinner with Rondo last night, just talk to him, you know, about his, his situation here and things we went through. Uh, we were in his situation before, so uh, it was good to good to see him, you know, to really, you know, that's pretty much the only guy uh, we had a chance to see. Um, other than that, I just tried to really focus and get back into the hotel and, and try to get some rest and couldn't think about nothing but today, really. Right. Uh, you know, it was even hard for me to sleep. Uh, just laying in a downtown hotel in Boston when I'm used to being in my house, uh, getting into the arena, coming through, through the backside, making a left instead of a right. Um, just everything was so different and it was just, it was, it, it was, it was great though. It, it was great to be here. Kevin, how uh, you describe what that was like? Uh, you know, to, to kind of concur with Paul said, uh, it really didn't hit me uh, until I got to see Ed Lesser, you know, Jeff Twist. I got to see all the guys who made our stay worth it. Phil Lynch, Johnny Joe, you know, um, all those guys, uh, Leatherman Showman, Brian Dew, all those the guys, the people who really don't know, but make this whole thing go around. You know, you see the... Like Paul said, man, you see the endless friendships as you walk through the place, the security guards, the, the ball boys, everybody, man, that, that, that shows the appreciation, man. It was, 
How far the hardest the hardest day uh, that I've had to focus. This was this was bigger than Minnesota. Even when I went back to Minnesota, it wasn't like this. Hey guys, for each of you, while while those videos were playing, for each of you, what was going through your minds? You know, what were the thoughts that were running through your head at those individual times? <clears throat> Just all the great moments. I mean, uh, from on the court to off the court. Just all the great moments. That's all you can think of. Um, you know, that's pretty much what the videos kind of like show. I mean, just everything that just me being in the community, uh, the, the difference I was able to make, not only on the court, but in the community. You, you build so much, uh, you know, not only in the court, but like in, in the community. You know, I have relationships with organizations in the community that I've built. Uh, been able to change different lives, um, be an inspiration in this community. And uh, a lot of that just we thought about. You know, I've seen uh, a lot of the kids I brought to games, uh, you know, and, that, and that's what I think matters the most to me, just the, the lives you can change. You know, uh, basketball is great. And understanding that you're a role model, it made me think of that, uh, just being an inspiration in, in the community. And how, how did this atmosphere tonight compare to, say, a playoff game? Or, you know, how would you guys compare it to, you know, some of the biggest moments that you guys have had in this building? This is not, this is, this is not even close. It's not even close. Uh, the impact of uh, people and how much you've impacted their lives as <clears throat> not just kids but grown-ups. Uh, just the culture here, you know. I mean, you come here the first thing Jeff Twist tells you, he takes you through the, the, the library, which shows you all the history here. You feel that. You feel that responsibility. And uh, to come back here and be showered like this, it's not even close. Not even close. Okay. Paul, I know you watched the video as it was happening. Did you notice afterwards when they flashed the woman in the crowd holding your jersey and crying? I did notice that. I mean, uh, it was tough. It was tough for me to swallow. Uh, I was I was probably about five seconds right. from shedding. Right. 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 <laughs> I was five right. seconds, right. I admit to it. Well, but, um, right here. <laughs> Uh, it's all good. You know, it's right. no words that could really describe just the shower of love here. And uh, I thought we was going to see Gino. How, I thought Gino was going to jump up there. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that's probably the one thing. I thought he was going to show Gino. One last thing we didn't get to see that we missed. Gino. Maybe I'll send us some Gino, man. <laughs> you, were, you were pointing to him on the video at the end. Really? You to him. Hey, you know what? First off, I looked up and then I had to compose myself before I looked back up. That's why I kind of put my head down, threw my towel on. But. I thought Gino was going to get cracked again. Yeah. Uh, Should have asked Rondo. Rondo, give me throw some Gino up tomorrow. <laughs> it's all good. It's a good. This is a good homecoming, though, man. Seriously, man. That's probably the only thing that wasn't on the video, Gino. Right? It was. Yeah, no Gino. Should have had Gino. Should have had Gino. We missed Gino. We missed Gino. <laughs> <laughs>